Good morning, Blazers. Today is Thursday, January 23rd. Now please stand for the pledge. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome to InfoFlow. I'm Sam. And I'm Kanayo. In the news, tens of thousands of bricks have been made from Mount Tall's volcanic ash. 5,000 bricks are being produced every day and used to fix and repair the buildings in the city of Benin, as well as being sold to interested companies. Interested in filmmaking or video journalism? Want to learn how to shoot and edit videos? Meet new people and produce work employers and colleagues colleges can see? SCO Video is looking for creative people to join their staff next year. Pick up an application outside of room 165 or apply online at tinyurl.com slash SCO video app. Prior experience is not necessary. Email videoeditor.sco at gmail.com if you have any questions. Now let's take a look at a recap of the basketball game. Hello Blazers, this is Emmanuel Kraft. Tonight, the girls varsity basketball team takes on Paint Branch, one of the most dominant teams in Blair's division and in the county. With an 11-1 record heading into the match, they look to make a statement on their home court. It was a rough start for the Blazers as defensive pressure from Paint Branch forced three consecutive turnovers, which turned into a quick 7-0 deficit. After talking things over during a timeout, the Blazers settled down. Determined rebounding and lockdown perimeter defense kept the game within reach as Blair ended the first half down 30-21. to The Blazers refused to give up, led by a perfect 4-for-4 game from the field by Emily Liu and a 14-point game by Kate Hildebrand. However, it would be too little too late as the Blazers could not stop Paint Branch's powerful offense. We talked with freshman Amelia Martin and junior Kate Hildebrand after the close 45-39 loss to get their thoughts on the game. All right, Amelia, it was a close game tonight. What did you like about the team's performance? Um, I think we had really good defense because Paint Branch notoriously has been the team that we, that we lose to, and we stuck with it all 32 minutes, which I thought was very impressive. This showed that our team's really good, and the fact that we, we held them and we fought with them, and they were scared that they could have lost means so much. I think this really just shows that we have a chance at winning the division title. So Kate, it was a close game tonight. What did you like about the team's performance? Um, we played really aggressive the entire game. It was neck and neck the whole game, and that was a fun game to play in. I definitely think we can improve on decreasing our number of turnovers and just playing aggressive defense. Though tonight's game ended in a loss, it was an impressive performance for our Blazers, showing signs of greatness and hope for a chance at the division title. For BNC, I'm Emmanuel Kraft. Keep up the great work, Blazers. Ever wanted to attend a TEDx? On the evening of Friday, March 6, Blair will be hosting its own TEDx event in the auditorium. Come here, speakers share experiences ranging from dance choreography and architecture to humor, human computer interaction, artwork about DNA, and AI for autonomous therapeutics. Tickets are available at tinyurl.com slash TEDxMBHS and are only $12 for students. Food and TEDx swag will be provided. Silver Log Club Photo Days will be on Thursday, February 20th and Friday, February 21st. Please look at the posters on Blair Boulevard for the date, period, and time your club will be taking their photos. Earn $5 off Blairware, Blairware when you donate to Comfort Cases all of this week. Donations are being collected near the main office. Donations include small duffel bags or backpacks, pajamas, journals, coloring books, pens, pencils, stuffed animals, and more. For the full list, check out the Comfort Case Donation Drive flyer in your classroom or go to www.comfortcases.org. Now, let's go to Eva and Una about the Climate Dialogue Club. Hi, I'm Una. And I'm Eva. Blair Climate Dialogue is working to organize dialogues between students to discuss issues related to the climate crisis and how to take action. If you're interested in talking and learning about the roots of the climate crisis and actions we can take to fight it, please come to room 210 Thursdays during lunch. Any movement working to stop the climate crisis needs voices from every background, so no matter who you are, please stop by and take part in this conversation. Snacks will be provided. If you are interested in joining, come to room 210 on Thursdays during lunch. Have you ever felt like your voice hasn't been heard in the t on the topics revolving 
culture, race, gender, sexuality, or pretty much anything that shapes human identity. Or maybe you're looking for a safe space to have conversations and dialogues around these different topics. The new launching of the No Labels Club will consist of these activities to learn about people from other cultures, their backgrounds, and how to combat discrimination and other types of social bias. So come on down to room 136 during lunch on Thursdays at 11.30 a.m. starting today. If you have any questions, please contact Ms. Matthews. Blazers, you can save $7 by ordering your copy of Silver Log before Monday, January 27th. To order, pick up a form outside of room 241. You can also order online at jostens.com. That's the end of today's show. Check out our website, bnconline.net, to submit announcements and follow us on Twitter at BNC Blair or on Instagram at bnc.infoflow. Have a terrific Thursday.